dear students in this video i will explain two other important derivations on the various forms of the equation of the straight line the next form is intercept form here both x intercept and y intercept of the line will be given and we have to derive the equation of the line when both x intercept and y intercepts are given suppose a line makes x intercept a and y intercept b on the axis then the point of intersection of the line with the x axis is a comma 0 and similarly coordinate of the point of intersection of the line with the y axis is 0 comma b now you got two points on the lines that is a in bracket a comma 0 and the other point is 0 comma b and we can use the two point form to find the equation of this line by two point form of the equation of the line we have the formula y minus 0 is equal to b minus 0 divided by 0 minus a into x minus a the formula is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 here x1 is a y1 is 0 x2 is 0 and y2 is b by applying the formula we will have this on simplification we will have ay is equal to minus bx plus ab or bx plus ay is equal to ab divide by ab we have x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 and this is the equation of the line whose x intercept is a and y intercept b let us come to the last form which is called normal form and suppose a non vertical line is known to us with the following data that is length of perpendicular or normal from the origin to the line and angle which normal makes with the positive direction of x axis if these two data are known to the particular line it is possible to find the equation of the line and length of perpendicular is denoted by p and angle made by the normal with the positive direction of x axis is omega and let us take a line like this this is the required line and length of perpendicular from origin is p that is this distance is p and angle made by the normal this is called normal with the positive direction of x axis is omega and it is possible to find the equation of the line and the line may be in different position in all the cases it is possible to find the value of p and omega and let us take this line and this is the line with the angle made by the perpendicular or normal is alpha and the distance from the origin to the line perpendicular distance from origin to the line is p and that is this distance is p and uh, this angle is alpha and if i increase the alpha and with the same p the line may be like this this is angle alpha and this is perpendicular distance from origin to the line and as we change alpha we will get a different lines and uh, this is one parameter of the line that is alpha is one parameter this angle made by the normal with the positive direction of x axis is one parameter and perpendicular distance from origin to the line is the other parameter let us denote it by p and uh, if you still increase alpha the line may be like this and for every alpha you will have a different lines and similarly if you increase p then the line will shift downward like this and uh, for every line we will have the different value of p and with these two data it is possible to find the equation of the line now let us take a line l whose perpendicular distance from origin o that is oa is equal to p and the angle between the positive direction of x axis and oa that is angle xoa is equal to omega let us draw the figure this is coordinate axis and this is line and draw normal or perpendicular from origin to the line 
and this distance is P and omega is the angle made by OA with the positive x axis. Now our purpose is to find the slope of L and a point on it. If you know the slope of a line and a point on the line, it is possible to find the equation of the line by using the slope point form. Now to find the slope of the line and to find the point on the line, you just draw AM perpendicular to x axis, draw perpendicular from the point A to x axis. Now we have OM is equal to P cos omega. See this triangle, triangle OMA. From the triangle OMA, we have cos omega is equal to OM by OA or OM is equal to P cos omega and sin omega is AM by OA because sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse that is AM by OA therefore MA is equal to P sin omega. Now using this it is possible to write the coordinate of A because OM is equal to P cos omega and MA is equal to P sin omega therefore the coordinate of A is P cos omega comma P sin omega and you got the point on the line and next we have to find the slope of the line and you can find the slope of OA because you know the coordinate of O and A you can find the slope of OA or even you can find the slope directly because this angle is omega the slope of this line is or the slope of the normal is tan omega further the line L is perpendicular to OA therefore you can find the slope of L the line L which is perpendicular to OA and therefore the slope of the line is minus 1 divided by slope of OA and you know the slope of OA that is equal to tan omega and minus 1 by tan omega minus 1 by tan omega is minus cot omega we got the slope of the line once you got the slope of the line and a point on the line you can use the point slope form to find the equation of the line and therefore the equation of the line is given by y minus p sin omega is equal to minus cot omega cot omega can be written as minus cos omega divided by sin omega into x minus p cos omega cross multiplying will have y sin omega minus p sin square omega is equal to minus x cos omega plus p cos square omega. You can bring p sin square omega to the right side. You will have x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p into sin square omega plus cos square omega. What is sin square omega plus cos square omega? 1. Therefore, x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p and which is the normal form of the equation of the line. Here the given data are very important. What is omega and p? p is the perpendicular distance from origin to the given line that is normal and omega is angle made by the normal with the positive direction of x axis. And now let us recall all these formulae together and you have to memorize all these formulas which is very important for solving the numerical question. And the first one is point slope form. The point x comma y lies on the line with the slope m through the point x0 y0 if and only if its coordinate satisfy the equation or the equation of the line passing through the point x0 comma y0 and having slope m is y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0. You have to remember this formula x0 y0 is a point on the line m is the slope of the line then you can find the equation of the line y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0. The second one is two point form and the equation of the line passing through the points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is given by y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 and uh, this is the two point form of the equation of the line 
and that is similar to the point to slope form because the slope of the line joining two point is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 this is m and uh, next form that is uh, slope intercept form the point x comma y on the line with the slope m and y intercept c lies on the line if and only if y is equal to mx plus c and this is the equation of the line having slope m and y intercept c and this is an important result and you have to memorize this and uh, if the line is having slope m and makes x intercept d then the equation of the line is y is equal to m into x minus d and this is the equation of the line having slope m and x intercept d and the next form is intercept form that is equation of the line making intercepts a and b on the x and y axis respectively is given by x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 and this is the intercept form of the equation of the line and the last form is normal form an equation of the line having normal distance p from the origin and angle omega which the normal makes with the positive direction of x axis is given by x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p and you have to memorize all these five standard forms of the equation of the line with this much i'll conclude this video in the next video let us solve the problems from the exercise Thank you.